Today I am watching the Patreon sponsored 1976 film Logan's Run. I am very excited to watch this. This has been on my watch list for a long time so I'm excited to finally get a chance to watch it. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. If you want to have a chance to sponsor a video as well be sure to join Patreon. The link is below or if you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch please comment below as well. I don't know the cast. I don't know the plot. I don't know the director. Uh, all I know is that it's a sci-fi movie and I love sci-fi so I'm very excited excited to watch it and thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Okay, interesting. You only make it till 30. Okay, or your the population is killed off at the age of 30. Interesting. Is this based on a book or anything like that? Comment below and let me know. I don't recognize any of the cast so far. <music> Farrah Fawcett Majors. Is that Farrah Fawcett? Just with a, was she married during this time? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, it is based on a novel, okay. I always love seeing people's interpretations of the future because I think they're so different. Like some things are pretty similar, like flying cars or like in this system, it looks like they've got tunnels where cars are being pushed through. Um, but yeah, I think that's one of my favorite parts. It's just everybody's creative vision of what the future could be, what would be included, what wouldn't be included. Wake up. He looks familiar. Uh, I feel like I've seen him in another sci-fi movie. Intrusion, identify. Logan Five, Francis Seven, authorized duty quadrant. Okay, it sounds like all, there's like just a group of names that all the male characters have, like Francis and Logan, and then a number followed. All right, Francis, I'm with you. And he said like, it's not mine anymore. So maybe because of the short time span, you have to, you populate more frequently, I don't know, or they try to deter you from populating because they already said that there's, this is how they're battling overpopulation. I love like the hologram. Only the crazies hang around nursery. Anyway, there'll be a couple of new Sandmen in there tomorrow. How do you know? Who's the Sandman character? One for one routine. No, you sound like a sleep teacher with a stuck tail. Logan, leave it alone, it's perfect. Okay, one to one, so they have twins and then they kill off one and keep the other or something, what? The crowd, good carousel tonight. I love all the bright colors. Sometimes in sci-fi movies, they go very like, everything is white and sterile or like shades of silver even, but I love these very 70s bright colors. Okay, I'm curious to see what this carousel is. And this is a lot of extras. Like, this would have been a busy day. 24. Enter the carousel. This is the time of renewal. Oh, this is this gonna be like Gladiator? Like, they have to fight to the death? Oh, God. Yeah, they said, like, all these people born on this specific day. Yeah, and their outfits are going from, like, all white to getting more red and some of them are floating up is I'm guessing this is how they kill off the people who are over the age of 30 or at at 30. I haven't read the book so I comment below if this is true to the book if the book is totally different. Oh god. Yeah they seem like Obviously, they're going willingly into this doom where they're just being exploded slowly. It's like in Willy Wonka when you hit the ceiling. A runner? A Logan's run? Oh my. I guess there would be like people who are, you know, 29 or their birthday's coming up and they know that what's going to happen, they're trying to run away and that obviously doesn't seem to be an option as if you try and leave your chase down by these guys. Yeah, and they all have that like red glowing dot in the middle of their hands. 
And that's very like 70s electronic soundtrack. Request identity check. New U483. It's crazy. He could have renewed on Carousel. Now he's finished forever. Why do they run? Okay, so they think that if they run and they just die, then it's kind of like a waste of their death. Whereas if they renew, then it's bringing something else forward. Uh, yeah, I'm very curious to find out if like all cities are like this. Where would he go if he escaped? And I love these like flying. Oh God, what did they spray him with? Oh, they just melted him completely. Oh my God, that's terrifying. Oh God. He has the ability to like summon people to his room. Oh my. I've never killed anyone in my life. Sandman terminate runners. Oh, okay, he's a Sandman? Okay. What about that? What then? Why is it wrong to run? Is this a don't ask questions kind of society? Good one. Runner terminated power center. Yeah, and I guess they don't, like, they value life differently because they're just going to kill off these people when they reach or renew them. I guess I should say they don't view it as murder when they reach a certain age anyway. So to them, life is, you know, comes and goes. They believe in multiple lives, it seems like. Logan 5, do you identify this object? Wasn't that Jessica's necklace? The object and the word both relate to runners. Who have not been accounted for. Okay, so some do escape. Interesting. Question. Hold. Unaccounted runners one. Wow, okay. Quite a few. Okay, so it sounds like there's they're told that there's nothing outside of this dome. Like maybe they're the last civilization left on Earth. Because they mentioned a catastrophe, so maybe, uh, like I said, this is all the only population that survived. Okay, so I'm guessing red six means he's 26? Yeah, yeah, oh, so yeah, he has to escape now. He has to become a runner. Oh, Logan's run, oh. I'm, yeah, I'm very curious to see what this secret mission is going to be all about. And just like that ticking clock sound, like that's basically they're on a very strict timeline of, you know, the days they get to enjoy basically before they're renewed. Yeah, that's so cool. Almost like like subway cars, like it looks like an underground subway system almost, but then they go through these like hamster tubes. I'm guessing this is miniatures. Comment below and let me know if you know how they created this set. Logan 5, authorized to enter risk area. They shut it to keep in the cubs. The cubs? Is that an animal, like, like a lion cub or like a bear cub or something? Sometimes they're waiting just inside there. Quick, before it closes. The doors remind me of like those Connect 4 uh, game, which I've seen in another sci-fi movie that I'm um, blanking on, but I've seen that kind of style and sci-fi stuff before. Oh, the cubs are little kids? Runner! Is this where the runners hide, I guess? Watch it. Circle. Circle. Watch it. Get behind. It's like Neverland and the Lost Boys. Billy, come on. Peter Pan. That's what it's reminding me of. Do try and stay here, Billy. Your, your young friends here will rip your guts apart. Oh my, that's graphic. Runner terminated at 016. Ready for cleanup, Cathedral Quadrant 39. Yeah, and it's so interesting how the city's like broken into different quadrants. Yeah, and this concept of like new you, where you could get a new face and change your identity completely. And that seems to be something that runners do last minute so that they have a new identity and that they can't be found as easily. Please let me know as soon as- Wow, that's so cool. It looks like a music video or something like that. Like these like 
light tubes. Very cool. I love the sets in this so far. Hello, Sandman. We don't get many Sandman. I think we've only had one. That's Farrah Fawcett, I believe. More extensive, and I recommend a more detailed study of our projections. That's so cool. It reminds me of like when you like cut out magazines to make collages and you just have the different pieces so you can change your mouth, you can change your nose, you can change your eyes. Believe me. <laughs> and everybody wears like monochromatic, like it's either all green or all silver or all red. Do you want me to take my clothes off? Oh my. All right, he gets a face. I like dark hair. Yeah, I'm curious why this procedure is even allowed, seeing as how it seems to only benefit runners and I guess people who want to look younger. Just imagine what would happen to you if the healing stopped functioning. Oh God, that would be terrifying. He's just burning you with all these lasers. Oh God, he's gone rogue. The doctor's gone rogue. They don't believe him. They're like, Sandman never run. Pew, 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 pews. Oh, God. They're going to kill him with his own machine. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my. The love shop. Oh, my. I imagine this is going to be quite spicy. Oh my. Logan. Oh my. Yeah, they mention in the credits that basically they're living a very like hedonistic lifestyle because they know they have such a limited time on Earth, so they're just focusing on things that make them happy. Oh, they got Jessica. That's such a cool shot of having them run through this tunnel and like the red and pink colors with the fog. Some interesting wall decor. Uh, very suggestive. Oh my. This isn't sanctuary. No, you must follow the tunnel to the end. Yeah, and that's so interesting how they're keeping them in shadow, like just adding more mystery to who these people are. <laughs> Bye, Holly. You're a Sandman now, Logan. Now. Stay out of it. No, he's got to blast his friend. Oh, gosh. Use your key. Good luck, runner. May you find sanctuary. Okay, yeah. The, the necklace that she has is a key to the sanctuary place. Very cool. Oh, no, you dropped it. Yeah, it's interesting to see like these different groups of people who've rebelled against society and they've obviously built this place called Sanctuary and we had the Cubs and then even the group of people who helped them to get here. And with Logan being a uh, Sandman, he obviously has access to things that everybody else doesn't have access to so he can track down runners. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm very curious to see where it's going to go. Yeah, that was like his only instruction basically is like just keep going down. It looks like they're in some uh, like fish farm or something he said. So I'm really enjoying this set so far. Comment below if you know where they all made, where they are on location. I love learning all that behind the scenes stuff. And the color green to match Jessica's dress. And it seems like people of certain age groups are in certain colors. <laughs> That was a cool shot from like below the grate. And these like frozen penguins or like ice sculptures of penguins. What? Maybe we can put these around us. Let's take our clothes off first before they freeze on us. Oh my. Yeah, and like a walrus ice sculpture. Like are there people living down here? Oh my. <sighs> Let's just hang out here in these furs. Welcome, humans. 
Oh my god, yes, I love it. Oh man, more than a fusion of the two, don't you? Yeah, it looks like he has like a human face that they just like painted silver or put like tinfoil over top of and then put him in this like mechanical suit. Store them here. He has frozen people down here? And you're ready. Oh god, he's gonna blast them. He's gonna put them in the freezing. These are all runners that try to find sanctuary. Oh god. Run! He's an evil robot! They can see the sun? What? They make it outside the dome? What? Yeah, if they've all been living inside the dome and it doesn't say for when this catastrophe happened and that they've had to hide inside. But yeah, it seems like the planet's doing okay. This guy's relentless. Yeah, that's crazy that they've gone their whole life without seeing the sun. But yeah, now, like, where are they gonna go now? They're used to surviving, you know, inside this dome, and now they're gonna have to make it out in the real world, I guess. And even if we find it, we can't go back now. Yeah, I'm curious who made Sanctuary. Like, obviously, I guess we'll find out if they get there, but... We'll find it. Yeah, and if they're the first ones to get out, then... Are they gonna try and go back and save other people? Look at your palm! The crystal! It's clear! Oh, interesting. Okay, changed color. This time. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my. And spicy. Oh my. Is this supposed to be um, Washington? Like I've seen that monument in other movies. I'm just thinking of Forrest Gump right now, but uh, and I know there's like a big pool like in front of that monument as well. Oh yeah, that's Lincoln's statue. Yeah, okay. Ah, that's crazy. Never seen a face like that before. Yeah, he obviously wouldn't recognize it. That must be the look of presidential. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. You wouldn't see someone old. Yeah, that would be so bizarre. You've never seen like wrinkles or anything, or they've all got names and numbers on them. Yeah, there'd be no cemeteries either. Oh my gosh, all the things that wouldn't happen because all the people just evaporate into the carousel. That's crazy, like all of that foliage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, would animals still be around or anything? Ah! Oh, kitty cat. But that would be their first time seeing a cat, I guess, also? Which would be crazy. He's probably the oldest person they've ever seen, yeah. How old are you? Oh, I don't know. I'm as old as I am, I suppose. Great answer, yep, very vague. Can I touch them? Oh my. Oh my, indeed. He wants to touch your face cracks or your wrinkles. The first, I'm mad as I had it when I tell you that each cat got three different names. That seems complicated. An ordinary name. And then they got their fancy name. Oh, the fancy cat name. Self knows. And never will confess, will you, Henry? <laughs> I love when pets have human names. A little longer than I can remember. Not great with setting up timelines, this guy. How did you get here? Well, I'm, I've always been here. Hello. They're getting nowhere with his questions, man. He's just answering in like circles. You tell me, I have to. I have to believe. It. I don't know. Where are they? Yeah, and it seems like everybody else inside the dome was grown, like, in some other process. At the theater door. His name, as I should have told you before, is really asparagus. But that... asparagus, and his name is oh, Gus. Oh, I love this man and his cats. Oh. 
It has to be. Oh, Jessica. It has to be. Jessica. The... <clears throat> yeah, and like there seems like there's like a lot of keys and pieces to this sanctuary place, so I think it has to be real in some way. Or someone inside the dome is just setting up false hope for people to run and then they'll take them out. You're all old men. Oh, uh, father said that one of these people never... Oh, shoot, he found them. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I thought we were in the clear. Go on. Look at it. Go on. Look at it. Yeah, well, he have a change of heart when he realizes that his life is no longer on the line either. Yeah, like he escaped, so he's in the clear. Yeah! Is he attacking him with the American flag? Oh my. Would they even know it's the American flag? I'm curious to find out like what the budget for this was like there's been some very elaborate sets like even right now where they are with this guy and his cats like there's books everywhere and these all these desks and everything seems very elaborate and like on a big scale oh bonked him oh bonked him again that was the right shot huh. watch out now Oh, he killed his buddy. I guess they're learning quickly the process of burying people and cemeteries. Yep. We can. We're going back. Why? You did so much to get out. To tell anybody anything. You'll be killed the moment you're seen. Not when they've learned what we've learned. Yeah, and you can't take, like, proof. Like, how are they going to believe you? I I can't live here. I couldn't live anywhere. Yeah, it'd be weird living outside of the dome knowing that inside there's just people being killed every day. Well, yes. Come with us. Oh, yes, you must. We we need you now. We... Yeah, if they bring him back, then they have some proof that someone would live to a certain age and that they can, you know, live past the age of 30. How many people? Is that more than my cat? <laughs> Oh, much, much more. Can he bring his cats back? People, you say, oh, uh, I don't even remember what, although, of course, the young people, yeah. It's kind of remind me, there's a show called Last Man on Earth with uh, Will Forte, and uh, he, if you've seen it, you know what happens, but uh, one of the first thing he does is, like, drive to all these monuments and, you know, goes to the White House and does all the things that you wouldn't be able to do if there was other people around, basically. I use those words to stay together. I can't stay together. Yeah, I can't put any different. Yeah, people don't get married in the dome. You mean to say that those people know ahead of time when they're going to die? Try right. that. Oh, silly. Yeah, that would be so bizarre knowing exactly when you're going to die and the choices you would make that affect that. It must be part of the power system. The, the ocean tides are turned into energy somehow. Yeah, this is one of the few sci fi movies where water doesn't seem to be a rarity. They focus more on overpopulation. As long as you can, we'll bring them to you. All the people. Uh huh. Oh. So they're just like, hey, come with us. Just kidding. It's too much for you since you're old. I hope he brings asparagus. Yeah, that's such a cute name. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. So just wait here. Like, this definitely seems like a flawed plan. It kind of looks like Olympic Village or something. I don't know why. It's like just the first thing that came to mind. But like when they have those big wide shots of the entire dome. Oh, another carousel ceremony. Yeah, I'd be very curious to find out how often these are. They're like every day. Are babies being born every day? Yeah, it's such an interesting concept. It reminds me a little bit of, I think it's a Mayan ritual that Hunger Games is built off of, where you sacrifice young to the gods. Ready. You can live! Live! Now take them to the old man! North the city, 2274. Carousel begins. Nobody believes him. They're like, oh, okay, sure, whatever. We've been outside! There's another world outside! We've seen it! 
Yep, and now you're kidnapped and that old guy just left all his cats and he's gonna be sitting there waiting for you to return. And nobody will be there to bury him. Oh, no, no, please. They should have had a better plan, man. They worked so hard to escape and now they've just completely... Oh my. Sanctuary. We will begin surrogation. What does that mean? Yeah, his mission was to find sanctuary. So was this just a trap to see if he would escape or to find out so they could learn where sanctuary is and then take it over? There is no sanctuary. That's terrifying. Unacceptable. The answer does not program. <laughs> you were assigned no to locate missing runners. It looks like film strips, like uh, like 35 millimeter film surrounding him. You must not resist, Logan Five. Did you find sanctuary? Are they trying to like read his memories or read his thoughts or something? Logan Five. Logan Five. Contrary to established. Are they erasing his memories? What? Yeah, because they like refuse to believe that this is possible. What? Yeah, there's all the people. Oh man, now they believe him. He's like, this is very overwhelming for me. I've been alone with cats for a very long time. And it's interesting to see Logan go from being the one who's killing his fellow men and, you know, shooting them down when they try and run away to freeing them all and showing them that there is life outside of this dome and, you, there, you know, you can live past the age of 30. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't have social anxiety because this is going to be a busy day for him. Everybody say I like touching his gray hair. <laughs> they did it. They blew up the dome. Everybody's free. Yeah, the matte paintings, that's what they used for those backgrounds. So that was my first time watching the Patreon-sponsored 1976 sci-fi film, Logan's Run. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was an interesting take on a sci-fi movie. I haven't read the book. I'm very curious to read the book now that I've seen the movie and see how they compare. Comment below, is this movie totally different from the movie or is it pretty close? It's interesting that overpopulation was the struggle they were going through with everybody in this dome, but then when they left outside, there was nobody around but I'm very curious to learn more about when was the last time anybody had left the dome or when there was this catastrophe that's what they thought had happened and they just thought it was better to stay safe inside and it was definitely interesting this concept of you know when you're gonna die you have this thing in your palm that changes color and it seems like their outfits also matched how old they were and when you know what happens when you reach 30 you're going to die and it seemed it reminded me of like gladiator almost like it's a sporting event everybody he gets in and like cheers for them to be reborn or renewed and their life now has purpose as they're being sent up into this atmosphere and that scene was just insane comp below if you know how they did it I'm assuming some kind of wire work but again it would have been very early on in 1975 when they filmed this and the choices people choose to make when they know they're gonna die they're like okay well I'm gonna be dead by 30 so I want to live as much as possible and I'm not gonna worry about my future I'm not gonna worry about retirement it didn't seem like anybody had a job other than being a sandman and even the way they reproduced was different and they were curious to find out that this old man like his mom grew him inside of her stomach and gave birth to him that way the concept of marriage or even staying with one partner for the majority of your life seems totally foreign to them again because their life is so condensed into 30 years i'm assuming relationships either start a lot sooner or they 
don't last as long because you want to try and experience as much as possible. Yeah, it was just such an interesting concept and it was interesting to see the world from Logan and Jessica's eyes when they're on the outside and they see cats for the first time and they see cemeteries and even the term, you know, husband and wife was foreign to them. Like that wasn't something they were familiar with as nobody seemed to get married inside the dome. I feel like that would make things a lot harder and even when Logan is killing somebody, he doesn't see it as murder. He sees it as he's doing his job and that person made a choice and instead of going to the carousel to be renewed they chose to run so it didn't seem like he was very remorseful about that and until the end when his character kind of comes around and has had other experiences and has seen things outside of his little bubble and realizes like wait there's life past 30 you know like there's lots to live for there's things you can experience like you don't have to die and like I said there didn't seem to be huge populations outside of this dome when they walk outside there's all this greenery and vines and everything's been growing for I'm assuming hundreds of years to get to that extent of being overgrown and when they see the old man you know he's got to haul his cats and he's not giving them very straight answers which was a little frustrating as a viewer because you're like okay this is the guy like this is our source you know he doesn't have this influence from within the dome you know he seems like he's been on his own for a while so was he one that survived this catastrophe or how did he survive I'd be curious to know more about his backstory but they're like oh how long have you been here he's like oh for quite a while it's like okay was that 50 years is that you know 20 years and like oh where were you before this oh any place is as good as another like just talking in circles and it was frustrating because you wanted answers and you wanted to learn more and maybe the book is more specific I'm not too sure I was really hoping he would kind of be our guide on this outside world and is there other domes is there other countries is there other civilizations has he ever met anybody else you know like stuff like that but um, and it was interesting how he was in Washington and like the political center of the country and I don't know if he went there trying to search for some answers himself or if he's always been there. It wasn't a very diverse cast um, and I don't know if that's supposed to signify that other populations were killed off and they weren't able to stay inside this dome and repopulate or renew or if it was just 1976 and they went with a very all white cast. It was interesting to see the way that this dome controlled people. Again, if you grow up in this situation and it's all you know, and then you start to question it, he said over a thousand people escaped. So I'm curious where those people would have gone. We saw some people in those like ice caves that were frozen by that robot, that evil robot guy, um, but there wasn't a thousand of them. So did some make it out? Where did they go? Like I said, I'd be very curious to learn that stuff. And maybe the book has more details. I'm not sure if there are sequels or anything or remakes. I don't think I've heard of anything recently, but comment below and let me know. This concept of sanctuary, I'm kind of torn between thinking maybe it doesn't exist and maybe it does. Like, was it something maybe the dome and the people, you know, controlling this situation created to give false hope to people so that they would try and leave as a way to try and show people, well, if you leave, this is what's going to happen to you because Jessica had the key and somebody had to give her the key, obviously, and she said one of her friends had gone to the carousel when we first see her so maybe her friend gave it to her and then even when we see on that runner um, that Logan takes out early on he has one of the keys so someone would have had to been there to give it to them so I'm curious if no outside influences had been on the dome is the dome just you know perpetuating this false hope and encouraging people to in a very evil way leave so that they can take them out. It was just, it's interesting because we never really made it to that sanctuary place, like other than where the old guy was living with his cats, maybe that's sanctuary for you, but there wasn't like this beautiful garden where everybody was happy and thriving. Like even when the old man is, you know, it's very overgrown and grungy and everything's dirty looking. I'm curious what the budget for this would have been. There was definitely some elaborate sets and tons, like hundreds and hundreds of extra that all needed costumes and obviously not it was a very small cast that had like actual speaking lines but still all those big wide shots of everybody walking through the dome and going to the carousel like that must have taken quite a bit of organization obviously and eats up quite a bit of the budget as well and yeah comment below do you know if this was filmed on location did they create the sets for this um was it a mix of both because yeah I feel like this would have been a very high budget even though the cast was small and usually talent is a big chunk of the budget as well but it was Logan and Jessica for you know 
at least 70% of the film was just the two of them. I did find the pacing a bit slower, but again, I find that's usual with older movies as well. I didn't mind the slow pacing because I feel like there, there was a lot to explain and a lot to unravel, and I feel like that's what they were trying to do. That's why there was a lot of dialogue scenes. I don't know how long the book is, but I find sometimes with sci-fi, they pack a lot into a book that as a reader, you can pick through and it makes sense and explain, and then sometimes try and translate onto the screen. Sometimes it gets lost. I didn't find that was the case with this, but uh, again, I feel like that's why there was maybe some more dialogue heavy scenes as they're trying to make sure the audience is following along with everything that's going on. I feel like Dune was an example of a book that was very heavy and very content focused and translating that into the screen without reading the book first I feel like wasn't very successful. I still haven't seen the new one but that was just another example that came to mind. There's a recent movie that came out that kind of reminded me of this. It has um, Kristen Stewart and Nicholas Holt is in it and it seems to be focused more on like pairing people up with romantic partners and I believe it's called Equals um, but that's what it kind of reminded me of as well. I'm sure it took some inspiration from this film as this film came out a long time ago. I love that they chose to use the bright colors in sci-fi. The only real like silver context that we saw was with the robot and some of the exteriors. We saw like holograms on the buildings which is cool. I think that's kind of stereotypical sci-fi stuff but I love that kind of stuff so I was excited to see it and the bright colors and all these plants. I really loved all the sets and I feel like they had so many elaborate sets like as soon as the movie starts you know it's hundreds of people going into this carousel that scene alone like some kind of arena with that flower at the bottom almost and I love the technology in this as well like having the crystals in everybody's hand that change colors and flashing when you're getting towards your last day even that thing that Logan used that like could scan people and you find out when you had like a new appearance and the number beside it and the computer that talks to him we've seen that before in sci-fi movies as well but I thought that was really cool and at the end I don't know if they were trying to like erase his memory or if they were reading his memories and realizing that they were wrong that he did escape and though he wasn't able to find the sanctuary you know he did meet somebody older and kind of disproving all the things that they've been telling him you know and brainwashing them this whole time that you have to die when you're 30 and you need to be reborn and what their motive behind that was to keep everybody self-contained. They want just to control the population. And then we have the sets of the Washington Monument and a Lincoln statue and even when they're swimming underwater and like there was so much that was done for this. Like I just feel like the production budget must have just been insane. And even though like Logan and Jessica wore basically the same thing throughout the entire movie, they definitely put the budget into I feel like sets. I was worried at the end that no one would believe them when he like shouting into the crowd like you don't have to die it's okay like you think that would be good news to them but everybody had been ingrained obviously since they were born that you have to die at 30 you have to die at 30 like don't question it you know even if you run you're not gonna make it like if you believe in this sanctuary place and you try and make it there then it's not gonna work because it doesn't seem like it exists I was very worried everybody was just gonna ignore him completely but luckily they were able to with much explosions get everybody outside and the proof of seeing that old man was enough I was like, you can't, you don't have cameras. How are you going to show people what you've seen, basically? You have like the ice cave set and like all of the pieces needed for that. And then that scene where we go through the love shop and all of those elements. It was just every page of the script I felt like had a new location. And I don't feel like that's usually the case. I feel like typically they try and well, depending on the budget, I guess. And then we had Logan's apartment. And that was so interesting how it seemed like he could call a partner or call somebody to his room and then the first person who showed up was male and he kind of passes on that and then even when Jessica shows up and it sounds like something you have to sign up for I thought maybe at first it was just going to be everybody was forced into this but that didn't seem to be the case it was sad to see Logan's friend die when him and Logan are fighting with this American flag and I thought once he saw his crystal in his hand you know he would believe him and think okay you're right like I don't have to die but I think it was just too much for him maybe and he just couldn't process it and he thought Logan was still lying to him for some reason and I wish they would have both survived and then he could have helped them break back in. I was worried when Logan brought that up because I was like oh man we just went through this like we just spent the whole movie of you trying to escape and now we're gonna watch you go back in. I understand why he wanted to and it was nice to see his character kind of make that transition and go from you know killing people to trying to save everybody and he's like you know what every minute we're not there you know someone's possibly being killed 
killed off and he wanted to prevent that because he realized how pointless it was and that this was needless killings. And the thought that they sent him on this assignment to set him up for a runner seems like they were just setting him up to fail or setting him up to be killed basically or they didn't think he would ever actually be able to make it as like, oh, no one of your status has ever escaped and that kind of put a flaw in his plan as nobody believed him. He's like, you know, don't shoot me, I'm trying to run. And it seemed like when he met the Cubs and then even the that other group of people who were trying to help him escape, nobody believed that he was a runner, whereas they thought it was Jessica who was trying to run and all these different groups of rebels and underground society fringes of people who were trying to help runners escape. I thought that was interesting. I wasn't expecting to see Farrah Fawcett in this. I haven't seen Charlie's Angels, the 70s show, which I know she is most known for and her hair. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I don't know if her character was just added in. It didn't, I didn't find her performance that great. I know she was a big name at the time. So maybe they thought if they got this big name actress in that they would get, you know, a bigger draw, which I'm sure probably worked. And she wasn't in very many scenes. And then she's killed off as they're trying to escape. But yeah, it was definitely interesting to see her name in the titles. I think my favorite set was the new you one where they've got like those tunnels that silver tunnels almost with the like lights around the bars it was just so cool and, and visually just so interesting to look at and I love the old man set with his cats and they just did so many different sequences and so many different sets it was just visually so cool to watch I felt like there was always a new place or a new thing to explore and especially considering most of it takes place within this dome like how many layers are there or how many different quadrants are there and you know the society implications of if you live in a different quadrant does that you know some kind of social economic status does that make a difference I'd be very curious to find out again it didn't seem like anybody had jobs and nobody really mentioned money um, it was just all focused on basically how old you are and this you know ticking clock basically till you reach your 30th birthday it was definitely interesting to see how they valued life and even when Logan kills people he doesn't seem to affect him and you know if life is so short it felt like they believed in regeneration and that this person who was being reborn would become a baby again and that they would be back so it didn't really feel like a loss that's how I'm kind of interpreting it anyway so there was less emotional attachment to when these people died and they seemed very excited when these people were renewed because they're like okay great you're coming back I'll see you soon like it didn't seem like the final it didn't seem like the end it felt like they were just moving on to the next part of their journey or whatever next piece of their life that it would be overall I really enjoyed it I'm so glad I finally got a chance to watch it. So thank you so much for sponsoring this Patreon video. I love sci-fi. I love 70s, 80s movies. So this was perfect for me. I'm very curious to find out what the book was like. I thought it was an interesting story and something I haven't really seen in sci-fi yet with overpopulation being the main focus and having this cut off for the age. There was a great 70s like electronic sci-fi soundtrack. I thought the performances were great. I love the sets, the costume design, everybody wearing these like mono chromatic you know one piece color suits were so cool very 70s even the sets where they were filming in the dome looked very 70s as well I, again I don't know if that was an actual location or not I think there's a lot of things you can take away from this movie you know themes of censorship or themes of like false hope and was there a sanctuary was there not a sanctuary and why did they send him on this mission in the first place and everybody's just following along of what they've been told and kind of that type of control and the computer not processing the information that he's giving them even though that as a viewer we know that's what his experiences were. I loved seeing the groups of people who were rebelling and I feel like that would happen in real life. There would be people who are questioning things and they don't want to tell them the answers or people don't want them to find out the truth so they're kind of you know hanging out on the fringes of society and helping people run away as best they can and I'd be very curious to find out what happened to the people who did manage to run away and who weren't killed. Thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me and thank you again for sponsoring this Patreon video. If you have any other suggestions for movies you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. You only make it till 30. Who's the Sandman character? I love these very 70s bright colors. Yeah, and they all have that like red glowing dot in the middle of their hands. Oh, they just melted him completely. He has the ability to like summon people to his room. Isn't that Jessica's necklace? They're gonna kill him with his own machine. Like, ice sculptures of penguins. Run, he's an evil robot. Yeah, there'd be no cemeteries. Fancy cat there.